David Sinclair has issued a response letter to the FDA's ban on any men supplements. And remember, this ban happened because of Metro Biotech, the company that David co-founded and is the current Scientific Advisory Board Chair. They lobbied the FDA to ban Enemen supplements so that they could market their own proprietary blend of Enemen called MIB626. Let's react to the letter. On November 4th, 2022, the US Food and Drug Administration published a letter regarding the marketing and sales of nicotinamide mononucleotide or NMN as a supplement to boost NAD levels. I'm deeply grateful for your patience while I've gathered information to share with you about the impact of this decision. So I don't really understand why it's taken him this long, considering it was his company that caused the NMN ban. I know many of you are worried about what this news means about the safety of NMN, as well as the possible limitations to the availability of Enemen supplements. Now, this was never a concern about Enemen safety. This was Metro Biotech, your company, wanting to ban Enemen so that they could sell their own proprietary blend of Enemen. It's not about safety. He goes on to say, I want to make it very clear that while NAD boosters, such as Enemen, have become popular as supplements, in part because of my research, I am not and have not in any way been involved as an owner, co founder, investor, shareholder, marketer, spokesperson, or sponsor of any company that sells NAD boosters as supplements. The FDA's decision was preceded by a letter from Metro Biotech, a company I co-founded but do not manage or control. So I don't really understand why he's trying to distance himself from his own company. But anyway, he goes on to say, pointing out that the company had begun clinical trials with a special crystalline form of Enemen that is stable and made under FDA drug standards. The FDA's letter is based on Food, Drug and Cosmetic Act, which states the term dietary supplement does not include an article authorized for investigation as a new drug. Again, I don't really understand why he's trying to distance himself from his own company, particularly with his history. So what's happening to Enemen supplements has happened before with resveratrol. So in the 2000s, David hyped resveratrol. He created his own company called Sertris, and they developed a proprietary blend of resveratrol. They sold that research to the highest bidder for $720 million. So what's happening with Enemen is just history repeating itself. Back to the letter. In other in other words, if a clinical trial of a substance has been initiated, it cannot be classified as a dietary supplement. So you knew this before you created Metro Biotech. What you've done is generate the demand for Enemen, and now you're trying to control the supply. Anyway, in its actions, the FDA is in line with its own regulations, which do not allow for the authorization of a substance to be classified as a dietary supplement if it has already been cleared by the FDA for clinical trials. Again, you knew all of this before you started Metro Biotech. He goes on to say, I remain enthusiastic about the science of NAD boosters and their promise of improving human health. Furthering that science and the prospect of cellular age reversal continues to be my life work, which includes helping other researchers perform clinical trials to address medical conditions such as glaucoma, kidney failure, frailty, and rare diseases such as Frederick's ataxia. Human clinical trials conducted by Metro Biotech on Enemen have produced promising results, some of which are published and some are under peer review. The important work of bringing Enemen to market as an FDA-approved medication is in the best interest of tens of millions of people who suffer from and will succumb to age-related diseases. So I don't really understand why this is his call. There's a truckload of research that still needs to be done, and then they have to go through the FDA approval process. So in the meantime, you're now stripping people of the option to buy Enemen supplements? This just doesn't make sense to me. Continuing onward, whether Enemen will remain on the supplement market is not yet known, but another molecule called NAC, which is both sold as a supplement and prescribed as a medicine, fell under the same law and remains on the US supplement market. Well, yeah, but NAC supplements, they don't have a powerful company trying to lobby for their ban. Any men, on the other hand, they've got Metro Biotech lobbying the FDA for their ban, so it's a completely different kettle of fish. He finishes his letter by saying, thank you for your patience and please rest assured that advancing the health and well-being of everyone who could potentially benefit from our scientific curiosity and discovery will continue to be my highest priority. Signed, David Sinclair. Here is my overall view. If people want to take NMN supplements, they should have the option to buy those NMN supplements. Now, personally, I've not taken NMN for about two years, but I don't think that that choice should be stripped 
from other people. Instead, David has generated the demand for any men, and now he's trying to control the supply. This letter, where he's trying to distance himself from his own company, makes no sense. And what he's doing with any men is history repeating itself. He's done this before with resveratrol. My advice is to focus on a great diet, regular exercise, high quality sleep, making sure that you've got life purpose and that you're socializing. Dramas like this are just a distraction. And if you do want to follow preclinical researchers at the top of their field, I I highly recommend you follow Dr. Matt Cableine and Dr. Morgan Levine, both of which I've interviewed on this channel. And apologies if I do look a bit tired. My second child is only one week old and there's a serious lack of sleep going on here. But anyway, thank you for watching and thank you to donotage.org for their $10,000 donation to my rapamycin study. They are a health research organization and to benefit from their ingredients as well as a 10% discount code, check out the pinned comment.